Dissecting Kellogg's brain resulted in our learning about an institute scientist called Virgil, who held the key to finding the institute and my son Sean. I equipped a radiation suit and headed to the glowing sea to find Virgil. Holy ground, Adam? What's going on here? Adam reached out and touched this world, bringing his glow to us. It remains to this day a reminder of his promise. Infinite worlds through division. I'm looking for someone named Virgil. Virgil? Yes, we know this Virgil. Do you have a moment? What do you need of me, child? I'm looking for someone named Virgil? Have you seen him? Yes, I know of him. What do you want with him? That's my business, not yours. He has come to the glowing sea seeking atom shelter. It is my business. State your intentions. What do you want with him? I need his help reaching the Institute. I have heard of this Institute. They hide themselves, trying to avoid the power of Adam. A futile effort. In truth, this Virgil has caused some concern. Some believe his presence is an affront to Atom. Though he came to trade with us on a few occasions, we have had little other contact with him. It was quite clear he wanted to be left alone. You can find him southwest of the crater, living in a cave. I would approach cautiously were I you. I feel he does not want visitors. and slow. No sudden moves. I know you're from the Institute. The hell aroma is that? So where's Kellogg? Huh? Trying to sneak up on me while you distract me? It's not going to work. I'm not stupid. I knew they'd send him after me. Are you... Virgil? You know damn well I am. What are you doing here? Whoa! What the hell are you? First time seeing a super mutant. Hmm? You've led a sheltered life. It wasn't exactly my best idea, but turning into one of these hulking monstrosities was the only way to... Well, to get here, at least I avoided some of the side effects and retained my faculties. But that's not the point. What are you doing here? What do you want? Can you tell me about the Institute? Or not. The Institute? So... They did send you, didn't they? You're working with Kellogg. Kellogg's been taken care of. Dead. He's... Dead. Don't you lie to me! He's dead, whether you believe me or not. There's no question it's difficult to believe. Kellogg was ruthless. There's a reason the Institute used him to do their dirty work for so many years. I knew they'd send him after me. Tried to prepare for it. But I still wasn't sure I'd make it. And so you... You killed him, eh? Then what do you want with me? I know you were part of it. And... You escaped. They sent Kellogg to kill you. How the hell do you know any of that? No. It doesn't matter. I'm not going back. I can't go back! Look at me! Why are you even here? What do you want? I need whatever information you've got. Anything to help me get into the Institute. I'm sorry, what? You want to get into the Institute? Are you insane? Never mind how nearly impossible that is. Even if you were to succeed, it'd almost certainly end in your immediate death. What reason could you possibly have for taking that kind of risk? 
Would you believe the Institute kidnapped my son? Oh, yeah. I'd... I'd believe that. Wouldn't be the first time. Look, I'm... Sorry. Really sorry. I didn't know. Yeah. The Institute has taken people from the Commonwealth in the past. If your son is one of them, I can understand why you'd want to get in there. I can help, but I'm going to need something in return. What do you want from me? Before I had to escape, I was working on a serum that would serve as a cure for my condition. I wasn't able to bring it with me. It's still in my lab and, well, look at me. I need it. I need you to find it for me if you manage to get inside the Institute. What do you say? You help me, and I'll help you. All right. All right. Let's talk details. First things first. You know how synths get in and out of the Institute? Why does it matter? Because I say it matters. Pay attention. It's commonly referred to as the molecular relay. I don't understand all the science behind it, but it works. Dematerializes you in one place, rematerializes you in another. I'm sure it sounds crazy, but it's a reality. The relay is the only way in and out of the Institute. You understand? The only one. That means you're going to have to use it. Now, have you ever seen an Institute courser? A courser? What's that? Another Institute secret. Coursers are Institute synths, designed for one purpose. They're hunters. Operations go wrong, a synth goes missing, and a courser is dispatched. They're very good at what they do, and you're going to have to kill one. Why do I have to kill one? Because you want to get into the Institute, remember? There, your ticket in. Every courser has special hardware that gives them a direct connection to the relay in the Institute. It's embedded in a chip in their heads. You need that chip. But to get it, you'll have to find a courser. Now, I don't know exactly where you can find one. They haven't sent any after me. And sitting here waiting doesn't seem like a good plan. You're going to have to hunt one down. I can tell you where to start and give you some help finding one. But you'll have to do the dirty work. What do I need to do? Listen up. The primary insertion point for coursers is in the ruins of CIT, directly above the Institute. So you'll want to head there. Now, the relay causes some pretty heavy interference all across the EM spectrum. You've got a radio on that Pip-Boy, right? When you get to the ruins, tune it to the lower end of the band and listen in. You'll be able to hear the interference. Follow the signal, and it'll lead you to a courser. Then, you just have to... not get killed. Not gonna lie. The odds aren't in your favor here. But if you do make it, Remember what I said about the serum. I need it badly. I... I really do hope you find what you're looking for. I infiltrated the Institute and got the chemicals that Virgil needed. I returned to Virgil's hideout in the glowing seas. The interceptor worked. It was rough, but it worked. Amazing! And what about the serum? Did you find the serum? I've got it right here. That's it! That's really it! All right. Let's see. Let's see. Retrovirus has matured nicely. Density gradient is high. Recombinant counter intron sequences look stable. Transcriptive exon strands have formed. That's good. It is. But there's only one way to know if it works. All right. Here we go. Ah. Ah. And now, we wait. It'll work. 
Don't worry. I hope so. We just have to let the retrovirus run its course. I'm going to rest for a while. I'm back in a few days. Maybe a week and... Well, I guess we'll see. In any event, you kept your end of our bargain. Thank you. I returned after one week to Virgil's hideout in the glowing seas. Hey. Welcome back. It needs some refinement, but uh, I think we can consider my serum a qualified success. This is incredible. It is a significant first step, but it still only works on one strain of FEV. It will take years, perhaps decades, to generalize my formula. Still, you have my gratitude. You're welcome to make use of my lab. Or help yourself to any of this junk, if you want it. In the meantime, I have a lot of experiments to run. Excuse me. Reactor at 100% I have efficiency. another assignment for you, Paladin. Virgil. As long as that abomination lives, he's a threat to the Brotherhood. The time has come to deal with him. Virgil is no longer a super mutant. His cure worked. He's no threat to us. What? That's impossible. There is no cure for FEV. It cannot be cured. No. The mission stands. I don't care if he's a human, a mutant, or a mole rat. His very existence is a threat. He must be eliminated. I'll take care of it, Captain. Thank you, Paladin. Dismissed. And with that, Virgil's fate was sealed. Orders were orders. Besides, Virgil should be terminated for Station creating the Super maintained. Mutant Scourge to Rust begin with. Good riddance. I returned after one week to Virgil's hideout in the glowing seas. But not to check in on him as a friend. No, I was there to carry out a termination, as ordered by the Brotherhood of Steel. Virgil was an Institute scientist and remained a threat to all of humanity as long as he lived. Sorry, I'm rather busy right now. Virgil. I've been sent to kill you. What? Oh. Oh, God. Are you... Are you really going to go through with it? You're a threat to the Brotherhood, Virgil. I know too much. Look, I know I made mistakes, but I've changed. You helped me change. You've given me my life back, and now you want to take it away. There has to be another way. Why... Why don't you just tell them I'm dead? No one's going to come out here and check. Think about it. I'm human now. I can't even set foot outside this cave. What harm can I do to anyone from in here? No. This is the end, Virgil. Protect and serve. Report, Paladin. Have you dealt with Virgil? Target eliminated, Captain. Excellent. Well done, Paladin. For your service, allow me to offer you a new helm for your power armor. Wear it with pride. You've earned my respect, Paladin. Not many can say that. Carry on. Ad Victorium. <laughs>